Okay, I need to hopefully illustrate a point about using way too many special moves. In low ranks, this tends to be what I see getting people killed. Also, shoutouts to the Shermie mod I have installed. Command grab from 10 miles away. Stun dipper from 10 miles away. Okay, I've seen not one normal yet. That's when they could have command grabbed, but they did the wrong special move. Special move, special move. Throw. Oh, two normals, three normals. Okay, two normals that were both the wrong choice there. Where are we at? A total of five normals, I think. Random DI, random command grab. Another, oh. Dude, I think we've passed ten normals. I like the parry, just chilling. But I don't think you have a reason to parry from that far away. Just block, dude. It's not not that big of a deal if you just block stuff mid-screen. You're not going to burn out after blocking two things. I'm not worried about DI reactions right now. That shit's hard. No reason to do that. That is a really hard target combo to do anything after. Just no blocking. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't connect. And DI gets you killed. I think none of the normals connected there to do really anything other than get them counter hit by DI. I'm going to say that the first thing you need to learn, and it's the most important part of your gameplay, is what your good button is, which is this one. This is the button you want to press most often, and you want to press it roughly in this range. And you need to know where light command grab reaches from. Get good at doing light command grab and pressing medium punch. I guarantee you you will just win in low ranks. Also block. For the love of God, block. Block low, block high, watch what your opponent is doing sometimes and block accordingly. To give yourself a couple assignments to learn, win a round with nothing but command grab and try to win a round without even doing a command grab. Just use medium punch and crouch medium punch. You don't need another button. Not yet. We'll worry about that later. None of the other special moves are things you need to worry about either. Just this and this. Let's take a look at this replay of me fighting one of my friends. And I limited myself to only using medium punch and command grab. Just get into your range, command the space, and if you can't just swing wildly, just block. You do not need combos or fancy special moves to win in low ranks.
Hey, if you made it to bronze, congrats. I'm just going to teach you, like, one more thing. Because anything more than that is unnecessary. Trust. So we're going to set this to anti-air practice. Uh, you can do that to anti-air. You have to time it right. Sucks trying to teach a thing and getting the timing wrong. But you can do that to target combo anti-air. Or if you're standing a little too close, you can block cross-up. So you actually walk forward under them and just keep holding forward to block a cross-up. If just learn to block air attacks. Anti-air, yeah. Actually, landing in anti-air is pretty cool. Because then he's like right in your face in command grab range. But just being able to block it is good enough for now. If they can't just get their jump-ins for free, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Blocking is not that big of a deal. Block cross-up. Just get a feel for the spacing on where you're going to need to block uh, backwards or forwards. It's good that he uses the cross-up button. Try anti-airing every so often. But more important lesson here is just blocking cross-ups. I know I just said I'm only going to teach you one more thing, but that was the defense thing. On offense, try doing this on occasion. Just do light, light, light command grab. Light punch, light command grab. So, the reason you want to learn to do this tick throw setup, not even a setup, is the light will occasionally push them out just far enough that they're going to whiff their own button and then you can just grab them. It's a free spacing trap. Don't mash, either. So, do the tick throw setup. And then, when you've landed that, tack on this. Quarter circle back, heavy kick. And you'll... You'll close out quite a lot of rounds by just doing that. I love messing things up when I'm trying to teach a concept. If you do that with pretty much that exact timing, it's very safe from out here because you get pushed out like three miles. And if it's blocked, yeah, you're minus nine on block, but like, who cares? You're way out here. And then after you've done this for quite a while, you can do that. Occasionally, after a command grab, you can go low if you've already got them blocking high. Congrats, you made it to silver. Do this. Start doing heavy, heavy into this. Obviously, you don't need to be doing this entire combo the entire time. Not every time you land it do you need to go for that combo. But if you just do this mid-screen it's great because you'll be getting a lot of corner carry oops you can do that mid-screen does okay damage but the more important part is it puts you closer to the corner and then obviously you have this just this is not going to work until you've done this a couple of times to people then they're gonna get scared and they're gonna block and that's when you just command grab that's the only thing I'm gonna teach you for silver for gold pay no attention to the fact that Ryu is going to throw me every single time it's just a matter of me getting a knockdown so that I can practice wake up supers Obviously, for exactly the reason that they can just block and not get killed. Um, you shouldn't do this every single time. But, it is an alright way to scam rounds out of people. Because, let's see, I'm going to set him to block randomly. I do need him to block so he'll throw me. But, 
just learn the timing of the reversal window. Because you're occasionally going to just get a free hit when they try to pressure you on wake up. Or, you know, they just drive rush towards you and they're not blocking. Oops. Um, level one, if you just need to close that around and you saw they press the button, if your reactions are insane, you know, you can just close that around like that. This one actually covers directly above your head, but if they're jumping forward, it's probably going to miss. But if they just neutral jump you on wake up, um, you're going to get it. And then you should pretty much never wake up level three, unless it's for comedy purposes. If you're playing for clips, wake up level three. Steal people's rounds, make them sad. Like, yeah, that's a shit ton of damage off of, like, you scammed them. However, um, probably gonna die <laughs> if you wake up level 3. Because if they jump it, they get a full punish on you and you're just gonna explode. But learning the reversal window is what I'm getting at here. you'll be able to scam some games out of people and doing all the other stuff that you've been doing, it'll help you. Trust. It will make you look stupid on occasion. So maybe don't do it if, if you're definitely going to die. Or definitely do it if you're definitely going to die. Because you were going to die if you didn't do it. There's a lot of guessing involved. Good luck. Cool, you made it to Platinum, so it's actually time to learn a combo after I show you the other thing I was going to show you. So, you know how to wake up super now, and so do they. They know how to do wake up DPs. You've probably gotten hit by them, but thankfully the good counter to that is just sit back and block. And then you get a full ass punish counter. And let me just... Okay, it's 4200 damage for a level 5 command grab on a punish counter. If all you need to do is block, then hey, 42% of your health is gone immediately. So, number one for Platinum, just bait their wake up supers. Rely on it a little less yourself, so you don't get killed like this. But, bait theirs. And then, you get enormous damage. The combo that I want you to learn, uh, it's in the game as intermediate number six, I believe. And all you need to do is instead of doing it with medium kick, uh, this is the combo, by the way. Uh, this is the most important combo for you to know, is it starts off at this button, the one they show you in game, which is okay, but the recovery on this is a little too long for you to just randomly throw it out in neutral, um, and you can't combo it off of this. Like, you just can't drive rush off of this. So you do medium punch and you can buffer drive rush behind it so that drive rush only comes out if you hit or you know they block so you do this this and that crouch oops you don't need to do od it's amazing how hard things are when you're trying to explain them there you go that's the combo you do all the time. And then in sometimes instead of going for the combo, you can go for, whoops. You can just go for light command grab on your way in, steal some medals that way, really enforce your strike throw game plan. Uh, if they block, Oops, uh, block all. They're just blocking, you can just command grab. I usually go in and still hit the crouch medium punch first, but you can also just do that or this. 
Like, from way out here, I'm getting command grabs. So, your basic mix up is do the combo or do command grab on the way in. I did not learn this combo until I hit platinum. That's why I didn't bring it up until now. Small side note for DIs. Uh, back medium medium kick into light hit grab is the easiest to remember best option when you have fewer than three medals. Once you have three medals, just go command grab. So the one thing I'm going to mention for diamond is something that'll happen in this round. I'm, I have my hand cam up so I can demonstrate what I started to do because I was listening to Sejam's buttons. But basically while you're getting comboed, because you're going to get your ass comboed, just treat your opponent's combos like a rhythm game. And you'll eventually start stealing perfect parries kind of all over the place. So, like, if they're in a block string against you or they're just comboing your ass off, you can still play the game. Just, like, bang, 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 bang. Like, when during their block string, just do that. And eventually you'll just start knowing the timing of stuff and it'll just click and you'll start getting perfect parries. And then on perfect parry, like you saw in that round, you can just get a command grab. Almost always you can get a medal off of perfect parry. It's really, really good for Manon.